Hi guys! Hello! <laughs> Welcome to another live stream here from Lugosul Portable Sawmills uh, in uh, cold... Cold, cold Sweden. Cold, cold Sweden. <laughs> cold Hernesand. Uh, Andreas here. And you in here. Uh, today, the big question is... Chainsaw mill, is it worth buying? And we say yes, yes. of course <laughs> it's worth buying. I mean, a chainsaw mill is the most <laughs> usable sawmill yeah. uh, you can have. Uh, first of all, it's super easy to use. Yeah. Uh, a chainsaw mill and of course it's when uh, when you already have a chainsaw, it's easy to just get the chainsaw mill. Uh, you have the chainsaw carriage that comes with the chainsaw mill, and you have your own sawmill setup. And if you're uh, you're used to using chainsaws, you can handle a chainsaw and a guide bar as well. Uh, which is of course good to to know a little bit about when using a chainsaw mill. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's uh <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. What I'm saying is that if you have a chainsaw, a petrol chainsaw, it's it's easy to start up uh with an F2 or an F2 plus chainsaw mill. <laughs> it's not a, a too big of an investment for exactly. to get started with. Exactly. Um, and it's easy to use. Uh, the Lugosul chainsaw mills are very good because you have the, the log at a very good height. So uh, when you have the log up here, you do all... Um, I don't know what you say, but... When you made a cut and you need to turn the log, uh, you do it from one position. So it's a very good setup in general. Yeah. So that's why we think uh, starting up with the chainsaw mill is the absolute best uh, solution. A chainsaw mill even cuts more straighter than a bandsaw mill in the same price class. Yeah. That, that's for sure. And I would even say that the surface uh, that the ripping chain leaves behind is even better, ter terribly better, <laughs> 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 uh, really, even really smoother, better yeah. than uh, uh, the surface from, from a bandsaw blade, actually. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, make something. Let's make a cut. Let's make a cut. So we're, uh, we have a cant here already. Uh, so we're going to flip it up so we can start making some boards out of this five inch cant. Uh, but while we're doing that, we also have a video uh, explaining the Lugosul system. Yeah. Uh, and the manuals and how easy it is to use uh, to assemble it with the help of the QR codes.
Uh, welcome back. Uh, we are uh, prepping for uh, the cut we're going to do here. So the good thing about the Lugosul system is that uh, when using these log lifters, we can actually now, when we have a log that's, I mean, we, we don't have these sides cut yet, uh, and we want to level the log and make the first cut up here somewhere. <clears throat> but the good thing here is that we can actually have the uh, log lifters on different heights. Uh, so we can... Um, something like that. <clears throat> uh, in, so then we can take into account the taper in the log and we can of course just look and see if how much the taper is or if we want to be even more uh, scientific we can measure so we have eight and a half inch hair and ten and a half inch here that's two, two inches <laughs> yeah. and which means that we split that difference in half so we should have a one inch difference on the log lifters so that's on seven and a half and that's on seven and a half <laughs> so if you lower that to eight and a half. Like that? Eight and a half, seven and a half. No, that's eight and a quarter. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So I should take it down one. Yeah, yeah, a quarter of an inch. There. There we go. There we go. So uh, super easy, but me eyeballing it wasn't wasn't <laughs> that good. But uh, we can be very scientific as well. So that's why we use the, the ruler. It's a very, very nice surface yes, indeed. Very nice cut. Uh, even though the log wasn't looking that good on the outside, we can see that it's a. It will turn out to be some some really nice boards, out of this one. So, uh, but we said that it's easy to use. Uh, it cuts really straight, straighter than a, a band saw mill in the in the same. Uh, price range. Yeah, it's also an investment that's not that big. If you already have a, a chainsaw already, a petrol chainsaw, you can start out with the F2 only or the F2 plus, and you also have the ability to add on 
to grow with your uh, sawmill yeah. in terms of electric chainsaws. Um, we have two different versions. We have this ES5 and then we have the ES8. Uh, we have different types of uh, feeding systems. We have the remote drive and we have the uh, uh, what do we call that one? The, um, the, the, the crank drive where you walk along the mill, same as we have for the uh, petrol uh, chainsaw for carriage. The chainsaws, yeah. So it's a system that you can build on and you can adapt it to your uh, needs. And it doesn't take up that much space either. No, it's... And it's quite portable, it's easy to disassemble too, if you want to move it or... Exactly. Or start um, away. The F2 Plus especially is portable in a way that makes it really easy to get it disassembled on one place and set it up on, the, on a new place. Yeah. Or on a new site. Uh, because you can actually keep the whole guide rail assembly fully assembled. Uh, when taking it apart. Yeah. That really makes a difference when uh, you are taking it to a new site, setting it up again, saves you a lot of uh, valuable time. Yeah. Uh, the F2, on the other hand, is a bit more uh, assembly work or disassembly work um, because we need to take away all the guide rails. Uh, separately or if we just take away the side ones and keep the middle yeah, ones the... intact it's still a really portable mill that you can lift up yeah it doesn't weigh too much no it weighs about 50 60 kilos so it's easy to put on a trailer uh, you can even lift it by yourself if you're lifting it on I mean I can <laughs> I can probably lift it <laughs> Lifted myself, but but still, I have you in here, so we can help out. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we got the we got the log molder as well. Exactly, uh, we have the log molder, which you can actually use for both molding and planing. Yeah, uh, we've showed both uh, on our previous live stream. So if you are interested in that, go. Uh, Check it out on, on YouTube. Uh, we have, you can use it both for the log house cabin profile and have straight planing knives and just do straight planing on the, on the beams, uh, for example. So that's a really good solution. Uh, the planer the, or the log molder uh, can be used either as an electric log molder or together with your uh, petrol chainsaw. Uh, yeah. So you can run it totally off grid. Yeah. Same as with the F2 or F2 plus uh, chainsaw mills. Let's uh, see if we have some questions. And we also have a video showing you the capabilities of the Lugosul chainsaw mills. The Logosol F2 Plus is our sturdiest chain sawmill to date. It is a further development of the Logosol F2, which has become a very popular tool for people who want to cut their own timber at home or wherever the logs are. The F2 Plus has longer log beds and sturdier log winches to be able to stand up to the load of really large logs. Logosol's chain sawmills are almost entirely made of heavily anodized aluminium. This is a material with amazing properties. It is lightweight and strong, and it is able to stand up to outdoor climate for decades without changing the slightest. The surface has low friction and is easy to keep clean. Logosol has manufactured reliable chain sawmills for over 30 years. 
The F2 Plus is our latest model, refined in many details, that make it easier for you to use it. Its design is simple and clean, and the functions are exactly what you need for the work to go smoothly. You can saw all sorts of wood. You get a fine sawn surface from chainsawing, and the guide bar cuts just as straight through knots as through softer parts of the wood. When you are sawing with a chainsaw, you get independent of electricity, and you can set up the sawmill where it suits you best. You can saw the log through and through to get wide, unedged boards, or, as in this case, cut a cant first to be able to saw edged boards at once. The sawn surface is impressively fine, and usually less splintery than from a circular saw, for instance. If you have access to electricity at your working site, you can benefit from using an electric saw unit. It cuts faster and more quietly, and it is easier to work with. The feed of the saw unit is controlled from one end of the sawmill. For the sawmill there is also a log molder that can mill log house timber that is up to 8 inches wide. Since it also works as a planer, you are able to design and produce different kinds of beams and poles with great freedom. Sawing on the Logosol F2 Plus is faster than you think. A large part of the work is to roll new logs onto the sawmill and carry away the sawn boards. Under good conditions, you can easily cut 100 linear meters of edged boards per hour. The F2 Plus is a tool that is easy to own. It is almost maintenance-free, and it is easy to store when you don't use it. The guide rail can be stored the same way as a ladder. It has never been easier to own a reliable piece of equipment for cutting up large logs. It allows you to build cost-effectively with standard dimensions. But it also opens up new opportunities since you get access to building materials in new sorts of wood and dimensions. If you want, you can let your creative juices flow in ways that otherwise would not be possible. As an owner of a Logosol F2 Plus, you will discover the benefits of being self-sufficient and able to make use of logs that otherwise would have become firewood at best. Hi, welcome back! Uh, uh, we saw that we have some questions over at uh, YouTube, so we'll try and uh, answer those in uh, some sort of order. Uh, I believe the first question was, do we have a dealer in Poland? Yes, we do. Uh, I think you can find the contact details if you head over to uh, logosul.pl. Uh, I, I actually can't remember the name of the Polish, uh, the company name of the dealer. I don't know. Right away. Uh, but you can find the contact details uh, there. Then we had some uh, great uh, feedback from Simon uh, regarding uh, uh, spoken uh, instructions yeah. uh, in our assembly videos. So that's really uh, good. Thank you so much. Uh, and then... <laughs> what else? What else? Um, uh, Paul, Paul Schoen will receive an F2 or an F2 plus chainsaw mill tomorrow. Whoa! <laughs> Congratulations. With an saw. Yeah. Drum roll. <laughs> uh, oh, but that's great. Um, uh, he orders the electric system, uh, the 5 kilowatt and this is the ES5 that we are using uh, right here. You will be super pleased with that solution. Um, and also we have a question from Patrick Seitz. Hi everyone, I would like to know if you recommend extra chain lubrication while operating a chainsaw. I wouldn't say that's necessary. We have the, uh, the same kind, kind of oil pump on the ES5 and ES8 uh, that we have on the... 
steel MS chainsaws. the steel yeah. chainsaws, for for example. So we have an oil pump pushing in chain oil, going into the groove of the uh, of the guide bar and chain, and that works perfect. So no, not necessary to to add extra lubrication uh, unless we're looking at the uh, big mill the wide slabbing system where we actually have a, a separate oil pump in the top of the guide bar but that's a totally different solution yeah. with like huge guide bars that's two meters long but for this setup no not necessary uh, <laughs> let's see next question uh, what do you recommend for a petrol chainsaw, like cooling and stiffness frame? Uh, how it works without... I'm not really sure I understand the question. It's not a big difference. I think we have the... Uh, we can. We had another question as well. If you go get the uh, petrol chainsaw, we can have a look at that, and we can look at the the new feed system. <coughs> uh, the new feed this system uh, has this chain. Uh, the chain attaches to the. Uh, petrol chainsaw carriage or the electric chainsaw carriage. So this is the same part. Uh, the tension, since it's a chain, we don't need to tension it that much, but the tension over here at the end of the sawmill is super uh, simple. We have the tensioning nut over here, is it? So we're we will loosen that nut, that's the lock nut on the inside, and then we will tension the chain on the outer nut over there. So, super easy, uh, works really well. Uh, so, compared to the electric chainsaw, So that's the chainsaw carriage that comes with the uh, with the chainsaw. With the chainsaw mill. With the chainsaw mill. Um, this carriage is equipped with the crank feed system and also the bar nose steering. And this is the same bar nose steering that's used on the electric uh, chainsaw. like that and these are adaptable uh, in length from 50 centimeters up to 70 centimeters Sorry for standing over here, but we, we need to, <laughs> to check our uh, the chat at the same time. Uh, okay, I think we are in sync <laughs> with, the, with the questions and comments. Great. <clears throat> um, Another thing with the Lugosul system is the lifting uh, mechanism, which is in fixed steps of quarter of an inch, uh, which means that four clicks, that's one inch or 25 millimeters. And to compensate for the curve, I just add one <clears throat> extra click.
So five clicks is or leaves a board above the chain, the, the guide bar and chain that is one inch thick. I think it's your turn. This yeah, time. it's my turn to cut. I think this one is even better than the last one. <laughs> even better yeah. than, than mine. Even better than yours. <laughs> well, I think so too. <laughs> Looks uh, super nice. Yes, exactly, Marek. Uh, this extra click is for compensating the the thickness of the of the chain cutting away material. So it's it's really easy to just add that uh, when you're milling. <clears throat> uh, so uh, we have the F2 and F2 plus chainsaw mills. Uh, the F2 can handle logs up to 50 centimeters in diameter, uh, the F2 plus up to 70 centimeters in diameter. Uh, the length, they are both sold in, in standard length, four meters. Uh, you can have them in a five meter or six meter version. It's still the same base model. Yeah. It's, it's really very modular. So going from the four meter version up to the five meter uh, will actually give you this sort of setup where we actually have three log lifters, which is beneficial when you're milling long logs and when you are going down in dimension to prevent the log from sagging down in the middle to give you a better uh, result or a more accurate cut. Um, but then again, we have, we can uh, extend the sawmill yeah. in different ways. This is the extension with the log lifters, but we can choose to have a more basic extension where we just extend the guide rail. Yeah, with still two <laughs> log lifters and another meter or a half meter. Yeah, which is basically, uh, I mean, it's, it's a good extension because it's, it's fast and easy to do. Uh, and it will give you that extra length. Uh, so if you need a solution to cut longer logs, just a few, that's a very good solution. But if you're doing a lot of milling where, where the logs are maximum uh, length of the, of the version you have, it's better to extend with the log lift. Yeah. That's, that's the better uh, extension. Yeah. So the uh, chainsaw mill cuts really straight, cuts with a really good surface. We are using a guide bar and chain that is especially made for, for uh, ripping. 
And if you're used to handling a chain and guide bar from using a regular uh, chainsaw, it's a natural step uh, when to buy a chainsaw mill. Yeah. Uh, last question, the speed of cutting. Ah, okay, uh, the question is about the surface. If, it's, if there's a difference in surface finish, if you're cutting really fast or really slow. Uh, I don't think that the... Um, that the surface that you visually can see a big difference doing super slow or going really fast. Mm. I would even say that going faster gives a better finish, but it's, it's barely not noticeable at, at all. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> This is a good one. How many meters of two by four as a skilled miller you can make in an hour with the ES8 electric saw? If you're only doing two by fours. Oh, I don't know. How, how many? <laughs> how fast are you? How, how fast <laughs> did, did, did that take? Going this this is a five inch wide, but I don't know. Did it take twenty seconds? Yeah. Thirty seconds? Barely. And then doing that. So let's say you make two in a minute. <laughs> you mean we will get one hundred and twenty in an hour. One hundred and twenty <laughs> cuts or no. or boards pa passes. <laughs> An hour, if you only do that. <laughs> and if you have a, like a, a, an unlimited supply of, of, uh, of, blocks. of cans, <laughs> of cans. that you can just go milling. So 120, <laughs> that's, the, that's the correct answer. Now, it, it's, of course, it, it matters because the speed of the cut isn't what takes the time yeah. making one of these boards. When you have this, this cant here ready, it goes fast. Okay, let's say you, you make one in, in 30 seconds. Yeah. So <clears throat> 120 isn't, isn't wrong, but you're doing other things as well. Uh, during that time, you, you take away yeah. the boards. The handling on the uh, logs. You are handling the log. Uh, you are rolling on a new log and preparing. So the better organized you are around the sawmill, where do I go with the lumber? Uh, where do I go with the scrap wood? Where are the logs? How do I roll them on? The faster or the more effective you can be in, in that sense, the more you can mill. Mm. But if you only were milling 120, Times and then 120 times. Let's say this is four meters. Yeah. To 40, 480 linear meters <laughs> in an hour. That's, that's good. That's pretty good. That's good. <laughs> uh, but I'm 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 useless in in like calculating in my head, so I can be wrong as well. Um, uh, Marek is looking forward to order his own F2. Great! Huh? <laughs> this is so it's much perfect. fun. This is so much fun. Uh, <clears throat> the ratchet system does not work properly for me after the first use. It no longer clicks properly. It only latches halfway. Uh, sounds strange. Perhaps the, uh, the spring is assembled in the wrong way or it needs some, some cleaning up to do. As you can hear, I mean, these, these uh, sawmills have been around for a long while and they click fairly well and noticeable. Okay. 
So just double check the uh, the spring assembly and and also try cleaning it up and see if yeah. something got uh, got stuck in there that actually dampens the the click the click sound. And when I have my my air protectors on and I'm running the sawmill and have an audience around, I I often put my hand on the um, on the handle that that on the handle that handles the the click system but anyway you can then you can feel the clicks yeah. instead of hearing them uh audibly or i mean if there's noise all around uh, that's even easier to do on the f2 because you can just put the hand yeah, on mm, on the um on the ratchet and just keep it there, and you can feel those clicks. Um, I totally messed this one up, didn't I? <laughs> no, it's not. Be, uh, okay. We actually have one more video. Yeah, I, we do. I we totally to forgot <laughs> about that, uh, the, the previous live stream. But uh, here's a video from our customer in Sweden, Peter. Jag heter Peter Degefelt. Vi är ju halsta. 5 km innan Ånge, öster om Ånge. Så jag har köpt mig en gammal stall här som jag precis flyttade in i i höstas. Så tänkte jag ha det bara lite som sommarställe, men nu har min dotter flyttat upp så nu har det varit det på riktigt. Så nu ska det bli toalett och året runt boende. Och sen har jag jobbat som ljudtekniker i massa år och då är ju Stockholm ett bra ställe att bo på. Så då har jag gjort det tills nyss. Då drog jag ur pluggen och drog norrut. Så då är det ju kanon att kunna bo här i Ånge och stå och såga och mysa och fiska och greja när man inte är på turné och jobbar eller vad man nu gör som tekniker. Jag har mycket asp och jag bor ju på en udde så att jag bor ju på aspudden kan man säga. Aspuddens vildmarkspanel kan vi säga att det blir till slut. Det blir nya firmanamnet. Peter Degefeldt ljud och vildmarkspanel AB. Jag har ingen skog, men hittills har grannar och kompisar behövt ta ner något träd här och något lite träd där. Och det räcker liksom. Mm. Om man kan, om man, om man ids och kan ta ner och hämta hem det. Mitt, mitt, mitt nya hus är med, med toa och sovrum till min dotter och så blir det furgolv då, kilsågat. Som jag på något sätt ska göra oklart exakt. Det var någon som sa det, att man tar ut mest av stocken. Eh, maximalt, så det är väl en gammal grej. Man ser de här riktigt gamla husen. Ja, det hade jag inte tänkt på förrän någon sa det. Att man liksom kantar det så snart det går helt enkelt. Så får man ju lägga varannan då. Ett, ett, ett teorin och planen. Det är ju det. Ja, det får man lära sig. Såga är ju inte så fruktat komplicerat tycker jag. Det är bara gasa sig grad ut och, och göra några hack. Åtta och en för kedjan. Pick. Så att det, och det är ju roligt då. Allt är ju relativt. Om man ska bygga ut ett litet hus så kanske det inte är ett stor kostnad i sammanhanget ändå. Och så spar man ju igen något tusen lapp här och där på det man gör själv också. Plus att det är roligt. Plus att man får unika, breda, coola grejer och sådär. So by now you should know that uh, a chainsaw mill is the mill for you and a chainsaw mill from Logosol. Yeah, that's the right choice. Uh, if you are interested in uh, becoming a 
Logosool Chainsaw Mill owner, uh, please head over to logosool.com, find the contact details and give us a call or send us an email, uh, contact the dealer that we have in your country and get ready to, to start milling. And you know that Logosool always offers a two year warranty and a 60 day money back guarantee if you purchase a product from us. Yes. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.